Turn it over to our David Faber, along with Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon. David. John, thank you. Uh, appreciate it. And David, thank you for uh, both having us here at the conference and joining me for an interview. Well, I'm, I'm delighted to be with you, David. I have to start by thanking you for being here. I mean, this is a, it's a super conference. We've got over 2,500 investors here for a couple of days, 200 companies, you know, a lot of good dialogue. There's a lot going on in the technology space. And, you know, it's great to be out here and it's great to have you out here. Yeah, so it's really great appreciate to, that. Great to both of us fly across the country so we can talk to each other when our offices. <laughs> well, I flew across the country <laughs> to be at the conference and I talked to a bunch of clients, but I'm delighted to talk to you. I'm too. so glad you're with me as well, <laughs> David. All right, now that we were uh, laughing a little bit, I, I do want to start off on kind of what i rarely seen in my career sort of this highly unusual avalanche of stories focused really, David, on your personality defects. I mean, it's been bizarre. New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, New York Magazine. Why, is, why has this happened? Um, you know, I, I can't give you a good reason why it's happened. What I, what I can say to you, David, is it's not fun, you know, obviously watching uh, some of the personal attacks in the press. Obviously, we're a big organization. We're doing a lot of things in the world. And, you know, we should be scrutinized, and we are scrutinized. And, you know, we watch that, you know, that, that scrutiny very, very carefully. I don't recognize the caricature that's been painted of me. I have a lot of colleagues and clients I talk to. They don't recognize that caricature either. And I tell you, a lot of them, particularly my colleagues, are not shy about expressing their, uh, <laughs> their, their, uh, their personal views. Um, but look, I always reflect on it. You, you always look at it. And we're focused on doing what we're doing. I, I think right. we've made a lot of progress in the last five years, uh, growing the firm serving our clients, executing on the strategy, just, just wonder, and we're, we're going to stay focused on that. Yeah, and I want to, obviously, we're going to talk about that, but I mean, do you feel, you know, to, you, to your point, it's a rare thing to see these personal attacks. You know, you run a company, like a lot of guys run a company, and ladies run companies. I, um, do you think it's an orchestrated uh, campaign of some kind? Is it based simply on the frustration of your partners because they didn't get paid as much in 2022 as they did in 21? Goldman Sachs is a very visible organization. If you go back and you look historically, there have been lots of times where the person sitting in this job uh, has been scrutinized by the press. I'm going through a period where there's been a bunch of scrutiny. As I said to you, I reflect on it. Uh, I, you know, try to understand it. Always try to think about ways that, you know, we as an organization and I personally can do better. But we're focused on running the firm. Yeah. This actually isn't what we're focused but, on. I know, but is, does it affect your ability to lead? I mean, you know, David's not likable. He's a tough guy with a short fuse. He dehumanizes you when he talks to you. He doesn't have a personality. I mean, on and on. Like, does that impact your ability to lead? I, I think that I wake up every day thinking about Goldman Sachs, thinking about our clients, trying to move forward. You've known me for a long time. In fact, David, you know, you were asked about this on TV a few weeks ago. And you said you thought I was doing a good job. You thought I was leading the firm effectively. Well, We're I've focused. dealt with you, David. And in fact, you've actually called me and sometimes even taken issue with some things I've said. And I don't get upset about it. In fact, there's one instance I won't share where you were absolutely right. You may remember during the pandemic. Does everybody just have a really thin skin now? They don't like to be talked to in some way that 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 you talk to them, that, you know, perhaps that you're just too tough or or what? David, I wake up every day. <laughs> I'm focused on our clients. I'm focused on our people. I talk to our colleagues, you know, constantly. Um, the characters that, that's the caricature that's been painted is not one that I recognize. We're focused on running the firm. We're focused on serving our clients. We're focused on growing our business. We're focused on delivering for shareholders. And at the end of the day, that's what we're spending our time on. Right. I, you know, I know. I understand why this is interesting and attractive in the well, media world. Well, this is the only time you're going to have to talk about it with me. Okay. But I mean, I, I, I understand why it's interesting and attractive to the media, but it's not what the people of Goldman Sachs are focusing on. Did you